Hi everyone, it's Casey from Alka Designs and today we're going to do a little art journaling. So there's no wrong or right way to do art journaling. It's a way to put your feelings down on paper or to work out some ideas that you may have. Um, I like to plan out my upcoming um, paintings that I have. I like to practice it out on paper first. Um, it's a good way just to get your creative creativity flowing. So I don't really have a plan on what I want to put down on paper, but I'm thinking something St. Patrick's Day since that's coming up next week, week after, next week, next Thursday. So I have some greens here that I'm going to be using, and I'm just going to go for it. So first step is to paint a background, or um, you can use acrylic paint, you can use um, watercolors, you can use tissue paper, um, you can use like cardstock, you can do just about whatever you want because it's your art journal. You can combine it with like a gratitude type of journal um, in a fun creative way. You can write about your day, um, write about fun things that are happening to you, goals, bad things that are going on in your life. It's a great way to work through feelings that you wouldn't know how to necessarily express into words, too. That's um, another great way to use, utilize art journaling. So I'm just going to randomly put some paint on. So as you hop on, um, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. <clears throat> if you've ever art journaled before, are you a beginner? Have you ever done it? Or are you a pro just looking for ideas or somewhere in the middle? I would love to know. Okay, I'm just picking up a color of paint wherever I want. Yeah. I'm going to take this first one off real quick. I always seem to forget to take it off before I go live. I always seem to get paint on it. So. I like the crazy, wacky um, backgrounds. And you may not. You may want this a solid color of your choosing. I just, I don't know. I think it brings, I don't know. It makes me feel better because it makes my chaotic life here.
So if you're just hopping on, we are doing some art journaling today. I don't really have a plan, but I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And while that's drying, I'm going to take out a few stamps and color things that I'm thinking about using. So this is kind of like a fun spring tissue paper. Um, and I also have this one. And I have a few stamps picked out. as well as a few stencils. I'll show you those. So I have this um, St. Patrick's Day camp. I also have this one um, for some fun spring type things. I was thinking some kind of shape design. This kind of looks like a clover. Maybe we can use. I like that. All right. So, I think in a tree down here at the bottom. So I'm just putting it on my stamp pad. This is a acrylic block stamp pad. Acrylic block used for stamping. All right, I'm going to get some. Make sure that it's getting covered everywhere. Ink is falling off. Oh, that's weird. Take that off. Who else uses baby wipes when they're painting and such? never happened before. I don't get why it's on a part like that. Okay. That's really good.
but I have a slight obsession with embossing powder. Slight, slight obsession. I think it's just the coolest thing. So. I always try to include it with whatever art that I'm doing. And just stop it out. Put off anything that you didn't mean to be there. And put it back in your little container. And then you heat it up. And it has texture. And it's so cool. And this is just um, a really inexpensive heat gun on Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. See how it's getting darker here from the heat? like a satisfying feeling. Can you guys see that? This is probably my like most favorite stamp ever. I love trees. Turn it off with a baby wipe. Stick it back on here. I think I like this. Bird. Back to the leaf of happiness. So when you put your stamp on your block, you want to make sure there's a flat side and like a textured side. The textured side is the one you want up. And you can use different colors of ink too to put your stamps on your page.
do some glitter. Can I read it? Thief of Happiness. Tied it completely and can't put stuff back in it. The glitter made it a little hard to read it, but that's okay. Let's do one more. Told you I have a slight obsession. Let's see. Let's put it right here. And glitter gets everywhere, quite literally. I have glitter <clears throat> on my fan pad. So, okay. This. Okay, let's do, let's do gold. Put it on. There we go. Nice little shiny thing to it. Okay. So I'm thinking. Something like that. I'll get out um, a makeup sponge. I'll get a little bit more. Um, let's really do a different color. Let's do. Let's do a. Teal of sorts. I don't want a full coverage of all of it. So I'm just going to put 
Offload it. I'm going to hold it down with my fingers. You can tape these down. As well. But I'm just going to hold it down. Put some white on here too. I'm just going to lightly dab all over. In places I don't want full coverage, I'm not going to put as much, as many dabs. That's a reason why you want to tape it down because it can move around if you're not careful. I'm thinking I'm just gonna draw a couple of designs there. See where it takes me.
I'm going to look for some pens to use to write some things. Let's try. Are, these blue ones are new. So, <clears throat> if you've ever used, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> if you've never used a Pasca pen before, they are an acrylic paint, and you have to shake it and what's called prime it, which is push it down on a surface until it's not white anymore. I'm slowly getting there. Goodness, I'm taking forever. Let's move to a different one. See if this won't be any faster. Sorry about this, guys. I don't think it usually takes that long. Okay. Guess we're going to do black. Let's see. Thank you. 
Goodness, my markers suck. A lot of them are pretty old. Let's see. What should I write? Luck of the Irish. I'm here once it dries. I'm going to write <clears throat> something on there. Down some little doodles. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think paint markers are just a lot of fun to design and decorate with. All right, I think that's good. You don't want it too crowded. But you also don't want too much empty space either. So this is my art journal for the day. I like to put I like to put um switch this. I like to be on the left. Um I like to put things like little sayings and stuff on here that are like motivational. I mean if I'm having like a really bad day or whatever, I might not do that, but um, I think it's just a way to help me, you know, get motivated and get moving, um, get the work done that I need to get done that day. Because we all have our lazy days, you know. So this is my art journal for the day. Um, if you liked this, we have, um... Um, morning coffee chat we call it coffee chat and craft um every wednesday morning at 9 30 a.m um, i stream it on my facebook page and i'm going to start um today's the first one but i'm going to start doing it on my youtube channel as well so if you want access to that just comment and i can send you the link to my youtube channel as well um don't forget that tomorrow night sorry not tomorrow night i usually have my paint parties on thursdays but this week i'm having it on set on sunday so my daughter can join me um it's going to be of a little bunny butt um it's pick your price so if you need the link to that to comment below um you can also get to it um on my Facebook page in the events area. So that's that. So I hope you guys had fun and learned something new. Um, if you have any questions at all, um, don't hesitate to ask. I'll always come back on and answer any questions that you guys have. So it was great painting with you and chatting with you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.